Hi, my name is Tracy Wonkner, horticulturist and team leader at Rogers Gardens. Today's Gardening 101 topic is how to deadhead flowers. First thing is we need to know what deadheading is. And deadheading is when a flower is spent or otherwise dead, we're gonna remove it from our plant. And we're gonna remove it for two reasons. The first reason is because it's dead and it looks bad. So we're gonna get that out of our pretty picture. The next one is because we wanna regenerate new growth and have new flowers. There's three easy ways to do it and all involved really simple tools. Sometimes you can use your finger if the flower is really fleshy. If it's a little bit bigger, you can use some snips. They're like scissors, but they're sharper and stronger. Or you can use your um, gardening shears. All of those will work really easily, and now I can demonstrate what you do. So we've got some foxglove and delphiniums. This delphinium still looks really beautiful, but it would be better in the garden if we went ahead and st um, staked it upright. This one in front of it, the flowers are definitely spent, so we can go ahead and make the whole plant look more beautiful by going in all the way down to where the foliage is and snipping. And as soon as we remove that flower, the whole bed looks much, much prettier. So these osteospermum have spent little flowers, much of which you can't see, but the benefit of deadheading is that it'll give the plant more energy to put out new flowers. So if it's somewhere in your garden that you really can't see, maybe this isn't crucial or a big deal, but this, this display is in a predominant part of our garden, so we're gonna go ahead and just snip it off. It's kind of meditative, really easy to do. You could teach a child how to do it um, if you wanted some extra help in the garden. And it's about as easy as that. This verbena is all pretty and fluffy, but it does have some spent flower heads. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna go ahead and again, get down in the foliage and just kind of give it a tug. It's a pretty hardy plant, so it can definitely take that little bit of pulling or if I'm nervous and I just prefer to use scissors, I can go ahead and use the snips. Okay, so another plant we can go ahead and deadhead is both this kangaroo paw and the gara. Um, we're just going to go straight into the foliage and we're just going to begin our clips. I'm somewhat conscious of doing a 45 degree angle, but it really isn't that important. It's more important if I cut it up here and it just visually looks better if it's at a 45. Otherwise, if I'm really good and I get down in there, you'll never know. So that's our Gardening 101 video about how to deadhead flowers. Please check out our other videos where we help the beginner gardener learn the basic tools to become an excellent gardener.